So here's part two of the laser cutter. Here's some more advanced things that you can do with it. For example, instead of just having the laser raster in a long, weird shape like this, what we can do is change it so that it vector engraves or vector cuts this. What I've done is over here under Object Properties, and if, I, if this box is not showing, you need to right click on it and Object Properties. Make sure that's selected. So now you need to select Hairline. And if you want it to vector engrave, it needs to be blue. And to change it to pure blue, you need to have red at zero, green at zero, and blue at 255. Enter. Okay, so now it is a hairline blue line. Now you'll see that it only this top box is, we have to change this separately as well. Hairline, change the color to blue. See what's happening here? Is that this image is over there. So now, instead of just rastering, it will make a perfectly sharp vector and grave line. But what if I want to cut this out? What if I want a, the board to be this shape when I'm done? It can cut through cardboard. It can cut through quarter inch wood. This needs to be red instead of blue. So red to 255. Now that's red. What this will do is this will tell the machine, okay, I, I want a cut at this point and the machine is going to actually slow slow way down and try to cut out this exact shape right here what if i want to have the letters cut out or vector engraved well i just clicked on them under object properties there are some things here right now it's just it's a uniform fill and it's black okay but here is the outline option. If we outline this hairline in blue, for example, and turn off the fill, now this will give a vector engrave of these words. Something that could be really cool is if you take this, I'm, I'm copying and pasting it, And now this bottom one, I want to cut these letters all the way out. Oops. Zero. Make them red. What we're going to have here is... Oh, I messed up. Hairline. Red. It's going to cut out this shape. It's going to vector engrave the letters. And these letters will be cut out. I could actually pick them up and I could glue them right on top of here so that they're standing up above the letters. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a moment. Last thing I want to show you for advanced, this image right here, this is just an image I got off the internet. It's all pixely. If we want to do something better with this, we need to trace it. Now sometimes a quick trace will just do it for us. Wow, that time it worked really well and we end up having some options we could for example cut this out hairline outline if we do it in red what are we going to get well it's going to cut out everything around the green but also this box around the outside a lot of times we need to get rid of this box on the outside Let's just try something. If we go to the segment delete, maybe this will get rid of it. Oh, there, that's gone. That's gone. Gone. Gone.
Now it's going to cut out this green area. It's going to cut out the hot air balloon. It's going to leave this knife shape on the inside. I wonder if I could get the hot air balloon to stay where it is. Right. Remove that line. And this line. This line. That might be enough to keep that hot air balloon in. This piece will fall out. This bottom piece, I'm not sure I'll be able to keep. But let me show you how this works now. I've got blue vector engraves. I've got red vector cuts on a large board here. I don't think I have any boards this large. I'm going to need to size everything down. So I click the cursor tool. I'm just going to highlight everything. And I can resize it all at once. Wonder. Now that I'm ready, click print, VLS 3.6, print it. Just like last time, you need to go into the system tray and select the red icon there. Now it has what I have sent it. I didn't notice that there was a little red line there, a little red line there, and I did not notice that the small is overlapping. So I need to change all of that to head back to curl draw. Make sure I've got the cursor. I can bring this over to where I want it. This is overlapping as well. And it's a lot easier to have a mouse to do all this, but get rid of some of these edges. Last one. So now that I've got it kind of adjusted a little bit, I'll print it again. I should say while we're still in here, if you're, if you're working and you need to save your work, this is the save button. It's an old floppy disk. If you click it, now you're saving it to the computer that you're working on. Maybe you want to save it to the desktop. Put your name in here. Or something. And save it. Because then, you'll be able to get to it later. If this is ready, I print it. I need to find it in the tray again. You can see it's updated. <clears throat> Since this is advanced, I just realized I don't want it to raster all of the stuff in. It's going to cut all this out anyway. So I can make it skip that raster if I go into settings. I tell it what I'm cutting. I'm cutting wood called MDF. That is, I might have to use a thicker board on this one. Okay. Oops. In settings, you can, you can tell it over here in manual control. So there's, here's the settings we were just in. Click the tab at the top. Over here in manual control, you can tell it we are going to skip the raster. And now it's not even going to bother. This will be much faster now that it doesn't have to raster all that. So here's what we cut out. It falls right apart. And in the end, what you can do with these letters is get them positioned such that they're 3D. You can glue these down. And there's our project.
Sound fancy? But now you should know how to use the machine.